Extra big thank you to my top level Patreon supporters. Thank you and thanks, buddy, to Stuart Hetherington, new gal Mona Swearingen. Thank you and thanks, buddy. And the man, Mr. Matthew Gray. Thank you and thanks, buddy. If you're looking to support this channel, head on over to MassBright.com. You can pick up some MassBright there as well as a large selection of slightly used masks at very affordable prices. Go ahead and check it out. It helps support this channel. What is up, Papper people? And we're gonna go ahead and talk about chin drop. You're like, what the hell's chin drop? When you are sleeping, especially on your back, and you go into REM sleep, your muscles of your body naturally relax. Now this can wreak havoc on you, especially when you have a full face mask. Now I know a lot of you, you're on CPAP, and maybe the technician or the doctor said, hey there, you need a full face mask because you got a bad mouth leak. So we're gonna go ahead and put a full face mask on and all will be well or something like that. Or maybe your doctor's from one of those Ivy League schools and they talk more like, I do believe a nasal mask would be contraindicated, which just means it wouldn't work. Now I'll go ahead and tell you exactly what's happening with a mouth drop and how it ruins your sleep or can potentially ruin your sleep and then what you can do about it. When you're on your back and you're sleeping, you relax. The mask fits here. We'll use my flat palm as if it's a mask. When you go to deeper sleep, this fits, your jaw drops back. And now you can see there's air between my hand and my chin. Where it used to be here, it's now here. Okay, you're gonna get air leaking out of that and that is really gonna affect your sleep. You're gonna wake up, you're gonna get, still gonna get a dry mouth, you're gonna have runaway pressures, it's gonna be horrible. Ho, 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 ho. Well, hey there, everybody. Would you like some world peace and maybe a puppy? Ho, ho, ho. No one wants a puppy. Santa knows what people want. Yeah. People want things like AirPods. Yeah, and they also want things like big mugs that say, coffee makes me poop. Yeah, that seems like something uh, old Boof McTavish would want. Yeah, my good friend Boof. Yeah. And wh what do you have there, little lady? Oh, I got a shovel. I got it off of Amazon. Do you dig it? <laughs> you see what I did there? I said dig it and it's a shovel. <laughs> It makes Santa want to hit you with his big sack. <laughs> eh. All right, guys. Hey, look. Guys, you're probably watching this, and uh, it probably ain't even Christmas anymore. Oh, buddy Lefty here. He's uh, an Amazon affiliate, and as an Amazon affiliate, old Lefty earns on all qualified purchases. So if you go down to that description box and you hit the link, it'll take you to Amazon. You can buy whatever the hell you want, you know? You know, old Lefty ain't getting any richer here. He's uh, got the worst business plan ever. What do you think of his business plan? He gives out free stuff, free CPAP advice. Maybe we could uh, kick him a little donation? I like birds. Oh God, oh Jesus. So uh, we'll go ahead and put up the link if you want to do a direct donation. All right, back to the video. Jesus, good, good. Sorry, babe, didn't see you there. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Now in the past, I've pr promoted a couple products. I had the double-sided boil and bite mouth guard. That still works, it's still a valid option. Costs about 15 bucks. Um, I've seen some as high as 20. I've seen some as low as like five bucks, but you just boil it. You have to be careful you don't boil it too much, uh, but then you bite into it while it's still kind of hot. And then it creates a creates a creates um, something for your teeth to grab onto and it, it keeps your jaw neutral so long as you bite down, like neutrally, when you're biting into it to form it to your mouth or your teeth. The other product that I've shown in the past is this. It is Dr. Dakota's Snore Stop. It doesn't help you stop snoring, trust me. But look at this, this is how you put it on, and this is supposed to prevent chin drop. <laughs> Jesus. Now this is the exact problem I had the first time I tested it. It's really hard to get on. And um, I'm pretty much the best athlete you'll ever find. Trust me. Yeah, I can't really, it's tough to get on, it's tough to get snug because it has these protectors here that actually get in the way when you're trying to tighten it. But you get the gist of it, right? It stays up here has nothing around here to make you hot during the night. And this can, in theory, when you're sleeping back, if I relax, it's supposed to grab my chin. And it does, it does a little bit. It's not too shabby. It's just hard as hell to get on. Okay, the other, th God, while I'm trying to take this off, the other thing that you can do is just get a soft cervical collar from like Rite Aid. You cover all the way around, and then it's just, they're usually flat on top. Now I don't have one, those are also about 10, 15, 20 bucks. They're kind of in that price range. So really easy to check and just, just check proof of concept. Again, I'll demonstrate this here in a second. Goes around here, keeps your chin from dropping, keeps the mouth from dropping. Before I put on the final product, I have my good buddy, Sleep Style. 
and I have the Viterra. This thing pretty much just got FDA clearance and I already have one. <laughs> That's right, I'm flexing on you. This is how you flex in CPAP land. It's so weak, God bless. I'm stooping to that. Okay, so we have the Viterra on. Okay, it is on right now. Oh, you probably don't think it's on, but listen. It's on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and lay back. I'm gonna try to relax and let my jaw slide back. I gotta be honest, that actually held the seal pretty well. I even loosened it and it still, <laughs> it was hard to get it to leak. Okay, anyway, so this company is doing a Kickstarter. They're called Trip Pal. You can check out their website at Trip Pal Go if you want. Anyway, the thing I like about this is it actually is, it's a travel pillow. Um, it, and I've tried it. Here, here's a side story, it's part of, for my personal life. I've actually been wearing this around the house for about the last week. I'm out of a job, but I'm also, uh, my neck, I think it's from the stress, my neck has been absolutely killing me. And I, I took a swing with the baseball bat, my whole right side of my body lit up. I had spasms here, spasms up into here, and I couldn't turn my neck and it really hurt at night. So I, the guy sent me this quite a while ago and I just pulled it out so I can use it as like a neck brace because my neck hurts so damn bad. So I used it a lot. And I found that it's really comfortable. It is winter now, so so I'm not really getting hot like in the summer. But anyway, in general, here's how you hook it together. Like this is so much easier than that Dr. Dakota snore stop uh, and better in the way that it fits over a, a soft cervical collar that you'd get at like a drugstore. So you just pull it around. These two little things hook together. Then you pinch in on each side and you pull it together snug so it's super tight. So imagine yourself on a plane, like pretty, Pretty easy. Usually those neck pillows like for travel are way low and soft. This thing's actually really good. This is used to be used for CPAP also in my opinion. Look at this, it's really hard to open your jaw, bruh. So if I were to do the same thing, trying to drop my jaw with this mask, let's go ahead and put it back on. Okay, I got it on. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do the chin drop again and see if this prevents it or makes it more difficult. All right, I can't get it to leak, so I'm gonna take this off. Now I'm trying to get it to leak doing the same thing. So you're probably like, okay, what, what the hell just happened, Jason? Without the pillow, and I'm talking without this pillow under my head, um, it was, a, it was kind of a bad test, it was weird. It wasn't right, because I, I use a pillow at night. So I put the pillow under my head and that changed the dynamics entirely. So at that point when I had the pillow under my head, while on my back, or supine if you're a nerd, uh, my chin was able to drop with the mask on. Once I put this travel pillow underneath my, or on my neck, it kept my jaw in place. So in that, in that sense, it was a success. That exactly mirrors what I did at night when I was sleeping with this thing and with CPAP. I'll show you a photo of it if I can find it. So one day you're a bright Are you recording? shiny, ex <laughs> happy bride. And then 18 years ago, right <laughs> I got it all, babe. All? <laughs> no, get your hand up. Panda. Panis, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Panda, not Panis. <laughs> but I was using this soft cervical collar when I was doing my review of the Philips Respironics Dream Wisp. So I have some data of that. I used one night with this and I have an example of one night without it. And I realized that later on because I had been using the sleep style machine and the sleep style machine doesn't translate into Oscar just yet. And I said to myself, oh God dang, um, I need to do that with a different machine so it actually records some data. So then I use my ResMed AirSense 10 and we got a couple data points. So one is with, one is without. Didn't have a ton of leaking, but again, I don't really know if I was on my back the entire time. I certainly started out on my back, um, but that's it. I'll let you guys decide. Anyway, very common problem to have mouth leaking when you're on your back, even with a full face mask because your face shape deforms. So you fix that by doing something to maintain the integrity of your face shape. And you do that by 
a double-sided boil and bite mouth guard, something that keeps your teeth locked together, whatever that is, whatever keeps your teeth locked together. I would not recommend a chin strap, by the way. I have videos on that. Um, or a soft cervical collar. And I did find that this guy, it's like, it's Trip Pal Go. I don't think they're even sold yet, but it's a nice product. I liked it. Uh, and this is not a paid endorsement, so. So perish the thought. So what I found is if I use my Fisher Paykel sleep style, she doesn't put it away because it looks prettier on the nightstand. So anyway, I have just two days. So I have one on the 9th. I have another one on the 18th. Now, both of these are using the Dream Wisp. The 9th, I'm also using a different product because I was trying to knock two birds out with one stone. So I have a, a cervical collar. It's like a, a travel pillow that I was using on the 18th because I got it somewhere around in here. So I was using, I just, I wanted to make sure I had some data, but I was also trying to compile some data on the sleep style so I could just have some uh, data points with it. You don't care about that. So this is without the neck pillow, without the travel pillow. And you can see, um, I'm not trying to brag here, but <laughs> Lefty's doing it right over here. Lefty is doing it right. Uh, what we see is some leak rate increases uh, over here again this is without that travel pillow which i don't think really has anything to do with it um looks like the results are pretty good uh not really any huge leaks you can kind of see these little spikes here those are the points i was talking about where i would wake up and there would be uh, leak issues all those little these little spikes the quick ones that are really fast not the sustained how it's up here but just these little quick ones so you can see it happening throughout the night now if we go to the next night now this is with that pillow that i was talking about and you can see it really didn't do anything at all um, as far as those leaks there, there might be a few less but it doesn't really seem to be a lot um, i know i felt like i felt like i slept better with it on i was kind of surprised that i felt like i slept better with that pillow on but again, this is with the Dream Wisp, and I um, always have these big leaks at the end of the night for whatever reason. This is just kind of an aside. You can see like with the ResMed machines, how look how I'm just cruising here. I'm at six more or less for most of the night. And then right here I have, we lined it up. This is a tutorial for those. Uh, if you ever want to have your data looked at by me, axgsleepdiagnostics.com, there's a PAP data analysis. And this is what I do with you with your own data. We go over it bit by bit together as a team. So if we highlight that and we can see what is causing that to increase the pressure so much, what is that? Oh, that? Well, that's really stupid. Why the hell would a machine mark that? Because there's absolutely not a goddamn thing there. Uh, but it did, it marked it. So it ramped the pressure up on me and it probably didn't really even need it, as you can see. But that happens to a lot of people. They'll have just little fakey things that are that are marked and it causes their pressure to go haywire like that one. That's why I don't like the auto setting. I like it just set because clearly I'm doing fine here, right? If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comment section below. Do you have a problem with mouth drop with a full face mask? And what did you do to fix it? I am very curious to find out. A little, little conversation there in the, in the comment section below would be nice. But uh, if you don't want to put a soft sided boiling bottom mouth guard in, the Dr. Dakota's works just fine. Soft cervical collars work just fine. This Trip Pal Go works just fine. Nice thing about this though is you can wear it on an airplane without looking like a dork. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for tuning in. At this point, if you have not liked and subscribed or even shared this video, please do so. I would appreciate it so much. Thank you to my, all my PayPal donators, my Patreon subscribers, and uh, and really in general, anyone who watches this channel. I really do appreciate all of your support, especially in these times since I'm out of a job at this point. Now, if you wanna buy any of these products at all, I'll go ahead and put links in the description box below. You can do that if you want. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time. If you're looking to support this channel, head on over to MassBright.com. You can pick up some MassBright there, as well as a large selection of slightly used masks at very affordable prices. Go ahead and check it out. It helps support this channel. Then let's go ahead and mention this Patreon thing just one more time. Now, some of the benefits of joining this is um, absolutely nothing. There really is no benefit at all. You can look at these for free on YouTube. But if you're appreciative of our work, you can go ahead and check this out and donate monthly.